singers. Welcome to episode 83 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you as singers by answering your questions from all over. I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week starts our Vocal Mythbusters series, and this question is from Matt M. in Birmingham, UK. Matt writes, Dear Justin, I've been told I should sing from my diaphragm and not from my throat. How do I sing from my diaphragm and also strengthen my diaphragm? Well, Matt... You've been fooled, my friend, because in fact, it is whoa, impossible to sing from your diaphragm. So wait a minute, Justin, what you're saying is that everything we've ever been told about singing is a lie? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because the diaphragm is an inhale-only muscle. It only inhales. What is the diaphragm? It's a sheath-like muscle that divides your torso in half, runs from your sternum all the way to the back part of your rib cage. When this muscle contracts, when it does its work, it creates a vacuum for the lungs. That vacuum pulls air into the body. When we exhale, the diaphragm is passive and other muscles perform the exhale. Now, we don't sing on an inhale. We sing on an exhale. Unless you want to sing like this. But I don't know if that will work out too well. Usually we sing on an exhale. And the diaphragm's not getting any stronger. It works 24-7. You're not going to be strengthening your diaphragm. That's a muscle that's voluntary and involuntary. It's always working. So then, Justin, what does this mean? What do we do with this? Now that this vocal myth has been busted and we know that we can't sing from our diaphragms, what are we going to do? Well, we need to redefine our terms. Since we can't sing from the diaphragm, how about we maximize our diaphragm's efficiency when we inhale? We've been talking about this since episode one of the show, episode one, the four breathing types. There's two breathing types that help our diaphragm to be efficient. One is the belly breath. It takes place below the diaphragm, helps it to descend. The other is the rib cage breath, takes place on the sides of the diaphragm, helps it expand and also descend. Putting those two breaths together sets you up for really efficient singing. Remember, it's not about taking lots of air. That actually makes singing a lot harder. We just need our diaphragms to be efficient. So we're gonna look at a song and then an exercise that's gonna help you with your diaphragmatic efficiency. I racked my brain to think of a song that had maximum diaphragmatic efficiency, came up with a fun one. This is Anything You Can Do from Annie Get Your Gun. You guys remember this one? Any note you can hold, I can hold longer. I can hold any note longer than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ribs, belly. Yes, I can. Now, it's just a silly song, but you can see that that takes maximum diaphragmatic efficiency to hold those notes. It's interesting. It doesn't take a lot of breath. It's just about where the inhalation takes place and how efficient it is. Now, sustains are not the only benefit of maximizing your diaphragm. There's other benefits as well. This kind of efficiency is not just gonna help you hold notes for a long time. It's gonna give you greater stamina and greater vocal health. You're gonna last longer in practice and in performance, and you're not gonna be putting strain on your voice of any kind. It's also gonna give you higher notes, right? If you don't blast air, you're gonna be able to go higher. Vocal registration, you're going to have more evenly blended registers when the airflow is steady. Also, a lot of special skills will start to develop. Legato, smooth phrases, and vibrato, chords moving through a very steady stream of breath. All of these things can be yours if you increase this efficiency. That's why we're going to do an exercise next to work on it. This is SHZH on a one, two, three, two, one. It sounds like this. So that's an SH first, sh with no voice, and second, zh, ZH with voice, alternating back and forth. Now, remember, it's all about how you take that inhale. 
That's what matters with this exercise. Guys are gonna be down here. Ladies up here. And let's try it. Nice job. Excellent. Nice. Really good. Excellent. the way, take the low breath. And deep. Great. Excellent work. Two more. And last one. Awesome work. So you can feel that that works out your breathing system and makes you think about how to have that diaphragmatic efficiency. So I'm so glad, Matt and all, that we could bust up some vocal myths. Uh, this is a larynx, by the way. And we've really figured this out, that you cannot sing from the diaphragm but we can learn to use the diaphragm to its maximum efficiency. It's gonna help you guys so much. So if you've got questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. So I encourage you, don't lose that joy, don't lose that passion. Get with a great voice teacher in your area, or if you're in New York or you'd like to Skype with one of our staff, visit newyorkvocalcoaching.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can work on at home, you can check out our Voice Lessons to the World vocal course, a 12-part course that takes you on a journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. Check that out at voicelessonstotheworld.com. If you'd like free daily vocal tips sent to you every single day, you can sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. I'm Justin Stoney. Until next time, make a joyful noise. Yo, you bench press the cat? But our question for this week comes from Daquan R in Toronto, Canada. And Daquan writes, Dear Justin, I love your videos, but I wish you'd release a vocal course that I can do at home. Is there something like this in the works? And for this week comes from Salman S. in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Now, Salman wrote this question to us actually today, and it was so good that we just had to answer it right away. Salman writes, Dear Justin,